speed edit has several options for color correction. I'm going to come over here to this Vegas clip. Go ahead and click on the clip and click on the control tree. Right down here we have the tabs for splines and positioning. We also have one for master color. And this is our main color wheel and this allows us to do color correction over the entire range of the clip with one color wheel. We also have controls for brightness and for gamma and all of these controls are animatable. We do have a keyframe control here, we do have our ease in and our ease out. Now we also have a waveform monitor and a vector scope available and you can do color correction right from the waveform monitor and the vector scope. And if you are using these tools and you ever want to get back to default, double clicking on any node will go ahead and set it to uh, its default position. Now, beyond the master color wheel, we have the three color wheel. And the three color wheel is traditional three color wheel correction, allowing me to control the lows. And these are going to be the darker colors in the image, the mids and then the highs or the brighter colors in the image. And I can do independent color correction on each of them. Now we also have blenders down here. If I went ahead and took my dark images, for instance, and uh, made them blue, now I can blend uh, the difference between the dark image and the medium image, and I can have this dark color correction take effect on more of the colors within the image by adjusting the blend between low and mid and mid and high. And again, every bit of this can be keyframed and animated over time. Each of these color wheels can also be turned into a waveform monitor or a vector scope. Speed Edit also allows you to do selective color correction. I'm going to take the roller coaster clip here and throw it into the editor. And uh, let's go ahead and go to the control tree for this clip. And down towards the bottom of the control tree, we have selective color correction. I'm going to open that up. There are four levels of selective color correction. We're going to use the main level. And we're going to scrub the playhead so we can see the yellow on the car here. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to right click on the small color swatch in the control tree. And I'm going to choose the yellow right off the car. Now that I've got the color selected, I'm going to go ahead and turn on what's called a chroma mask. And this is going to mask the area for us. For the key tolerance, we're going to start out with negative 50. And then we're going to go to the color correction inside of selective color correction and remove all of the color saturation. Color saturation to zero. And as you can see now in real time, we have removed all the color from the clip except for the yellow on the car itself. And you can adjust that by coming down here and dialing in your key tolerance. And you can have more yellow or less yellow, just the yellow. You can dial it to where you just get what's on the car. And you have a beautiful effect ready to go.